Um, so if I make a brush stroke and then I do Control Z, it'll show you right there in the corner. I and O adjust the opacity of your brush. Here I am pressing I, and you can see the opacity is going down automatically. I don't even have to screw with the slider at all. And here I am with O, and it's going up, and it's just super easy to adjust it on the fly. So if I notice that something is just got the wrong weight to it, then I can quickly, you know, just adjust that right as I go. And the same is true for brush size and the bracket keys. So here my size is at 40, and you can see that as I push the open bracket, the size is going down, and as I push the closed bracket, the size goes up. Um, and that works on any brush. Okay, so I have a bunch of brush strokes on screen, and I can take any of these brushes, and by pressing the E key, or pushing this little eraser up here, I can turn any brush into an eraser. So I have a little inking pen, and now it's an eraser. And I push E, and it's back to inking, and I push E, and now it's an eraser. And that is true even with the texture brushes. So if I can pull up my textures, I can grab like this weird star effect, and I can push E. Now it erases that right into the other content that I've already drawn. Super useful for what I do with pet markings on the site because sometimes that negative space is what's going to make the base color pop through or make another marking pop through and um, it just gives it a really cool effect. It's so useful to have that on any brush. Uh, for those of you who are pretty familiar with drawing, you need to check the balance basically of your piece or check to make sure that your eye isn't playing tricks on you with uh, regard to proportion. So if you hit M in Krita, it goes right into mirror, and you can do that as much as you need. 4, 5, and 6 control the rotation. So if I hit 4, it rotates, and it will keep going as long as I'm pressing 4. If I hit 5, it pops it back to normal. And if I hit 6, it rotates it in the other direction. Super useful for when I just can't quite get the perfect line if it's straight up. It's hard for me to do lines that sort of go in this direction. You know, I have to pull my whole arm, usually I just use my wrist. So if I can just hit six a couple times, then I just have to do something I'm more comfortable with, hit back to five, and there you go. That's the perfect line. For if you have selected something, so let's say that I've selected everything that is black on this screen, and I go, oh no, I didn't want that at all. If I hit Control, Shift, and A, it deselects it. I use that all the time. The W key makes wraparound mode, and that makes it so you can draw, let me get my brush back, um, you can draw anywhere on the canvas and it wraps all over everywhere. And this gives you the ability to do seamless texturing. For those of you on Windrows who you know use the gardens a lot, when I do the soil effects, you want to make sure that each soil tile merges with the one next to it. Very very cleanly, or as cleanly as I can manage. I'm not super great at textures, but whatever. Hit W again to, you can hit W again to turn it off. And you see that all of those, you know, all of the effects of that were retained around the edge here. Right click on the mouse, you can call that up. Or if you have a tablet with buttons right there on the pen, I have mine set up to be the top press of the button. So whenever I push that on the pen, it just pulls up my quick palette. And that's really useful for if you're in full screen mode. I rarely am ever in full screen mode, but if you prefer that, um, that is when you hit tab, all of your side pieces go away so you can get right in the drawing right there. I should probably utilize this more for my draw casts because it would probably make it nicer, but I don't. So this basically lets you get that palette right up while you're in that wrap mode. So, or while you're in the full screen mode rather. The Quick Palette has all the colors you could need around the outside, a regular palette around the outside, and then you get the triangle uh, in the middle for, uh, what do you call this, like tone, I guess? I'm not a trained artist. So you can, you know, adjust uh, that wherever you need and um, get whatever color you want. And then it has a fav your favorite tools, essentially, around the outside in these little circles. These are your current selected colors right up here. And you can go 
to any of your brush presets or tags that you've created and pick a new one. So you can have all of them set up right here for whatever it is that you need to do. So I have a ton of my own. So anyway, um, any of these shortcuts or anything on the quick palette can be edited by you. If you go up here into settings and then configure, you can manage any of the layout that you want, uh, which is really convenient.